I am joined by Lachey Graff, the Executive Director for Brave the Shave, to tell me all about it. So good morning to you, Lachey. Good morning. How are you? Good. It's awesome. always a awesome. pleasure to have yes. you on. And we like to see the process of Brave the Shave, how it changes and how oh. it helps out kids. So it's just tremendous what you guys do. But for those who don't know, what is Brave the Shave? Yeah, so Brave the Shave, it's our local nonprofit. We support all children in the state of North Dakota that have been diagnosed with uh, childhood cancer, which I know a lot of people like to think is rare, but it's not. Oh. So um, it's kind of a little scary. It's, it's yeah. one of those we always say to families, you know, you're not a cancer parent until you are. Mm -hmm. But this is the 16th year that Brave the Shave is in action. Uh, we help everybody from, you know, a family if they've been diagnosed and, you know, helping with the mortgage, helping with the medical yeah. bills, um, making sure that that family can be present when they're needed the most, right at the bedside as, a, as their child is, right. is, you know, going through treatment. Yeah. So, and then the other thing we like to do is help out with cancer research because there's only about 4% of national funding that's divvied up towards childhood cancer. Yes. Yeah. Nothing's going to change without the support of our communities. No, so. it's just completely different from kids to adults. And yeah. it's just, you know, it's good to see that in the community. And here, you know, the community does care, and it's good to see the yes. support. And that's what you guys need, too. Yeah. And so you're here mainly for the event that the Bobcats are hosting this Friday. What is going on there? Oh, my gosh. We are so excited. <laughs> so Friday, if you haven't got your ticket, you better get it now. Because okay. as I've heard, it's standing room only. So oh. it's like almost a sold-out crowd. Good. We've got 12 players that are going to be shaving their head in honor of um, childhood cancer and creating awareness. So very excited. Also the coach, Selene and Hunter, are going to be joining them on the ice and, and raising funds. I mean, the biggest thing is to create awareness because, mm -hmm. um, as, as you know, you don't know until it's there. And by the time it's there, it's, it's too late. Yeah. So anything that we can do to raise money, um, that's, that's my little guy Ashton, Aww. and then that's one of the Bobcats, Chase, who uh -huh. actually got his jersey, so <laughs> we, we auction these off every year at the end of the Bobcats game, yeah. and, and it was a really cool opportunity. Um, this past Thursday, we were able to do donuts with the Bobcats, Aww. and um, they had a chance to meet the players, and the players got a chance to meet the kids, and it was really, it was really cool to yeah. see that interaction. Um, we've never had that type of an intimate reaction where, you know, usually it's we get to the game and the kids aren't able to hang out with the players and and meet them. And the players really got to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. I think I think this year's event is going to be really touching um, just because they have that connection. I think the connection is all that matters. And will the kids be able to go on the ice too as yes. the Bobcats? Okay, yep. so you're going to be able to see the, everything happen mm -hmm. and those interactions. Yep. So the kids are going to be brought onto the ice um, before the puck drops. We actually have three little honorees this year. Mm -hmm. So I've got um, three of our newest diagnosed children this year. And very excited to have Lane and Cambry and Connor join us on the ice, do the puck drop. That's super exciting for the kids. Yeah. Um, you know, and all the families are welcome. And we do have about 20 families joining us this year. And we do have five families that lost a child. And this is their way of coming back and remembering and honoring their child and, um, you know, having that respect. So it's such a great thing. It really is, too. And so uh, you have the hockey game happening this Friday. And if I buy a ticket, is that the only way that I can help out Brave the Shave? Or what else can I do while I'm at the game? Or So there's a lot of things going on at the game. Uh, the tickets are are just for the Bobcats. Yep. Um, but there's QR codes going around, circling around Facebook on the Bip Boss Bismarck Bobcats mm -hmm. page along with the Brave the Shave page. Uh, you can support those players by donating to that QR code and saying, hey, I support you and what you're doing um, by shaving your head for, for this. And that QR code's right there. Mm -hmm. um, there's also going to be, so the, the jersey I'm wearing right now, yeah. every year the hockey designs a jersey for Brave the Shave. Yeah. And at the end of the game, the players come out on the ice and they're auctioned off. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot going on. There's going to be donation jars set up. Um, you know, you'll see the families walking around. But every year, it's a cool jersey. It's, it's a cool really jersey. Is. Every year, it's something different. We yeah. never know. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just really, really awesome. You know, for those that are big into hockey. Yeah. You get the jersey, you get to wear them to the game, you get to support your community. Um, it's going to be a good gonna time. It's going to be great. And I like what you have written here. You said you tried to get Chase to come in, but they actually I have did. hockey practice right yes. now. Yes, yes. So. And so they have their biggest, <laughs> biggest opponent this weekend. Eight. It's going to be a big game. It's a so good weekend. It's going to be a good game. So. so 
I, I totally understand. I tried to get him <laughs> the, get, the <laughs> get out of jail card. And yeah. They had practice this morning. But well, we we're... appreciate it. And for those who want to get tickets, find more information about Brave the Shave, where yeah. can they go? They can go on our Facebook page or um, bravetheshave.net. We have all our events coming up um, from the hockey game. We've got our main event coming up yep. in April. 